if you have piles of paper or a bulging filing cabinet sort of not screaming at you but quietly going deal with me <laughs> sort me out <laughs> um, you might want to watch this video so I've if you, you might have seen I've just moved into my new office I've I've bought myself a new uh, smaller two drawer filing cabinet um, because I don't want the four drawer, uh, old four drawer cabinet. It's too big and bulky and um, it's actually been in the garage for the last couple of years and so it's started to go a bit rusty and gross. So um, I'm scaling down. Um, to be fair, I haven't filled a whole four drawer filing cabinet um, myself. <laughs> so and when I bought it, I was like, I'm never going to fill this. I'm never going to use four drawers. Um, one drawer is just all stationary excess folders and um, business cards and all of those things. Two drawers is my, my personal family um, and business filing. And then the fourth drawer is actually full of... Um, files belonging to one of my clients which is a whole other story so I don't actually need to get yeah all I need to get is two drawers down to one of my personal and business stuff and then the stationery is going to go in new furniture anyway <laughs> I guess just keep in mind um, as I demonstrate how I'm how I'm going through the process um, just think how could how could these ideas apply to to your situation or, or your paper paperwork um, and ask any questions um, if, if you've got a question of okay that's fine you're doing that but how would that apply to this situation let me know I'm happy to help so let's get into it okay so I'm down here on the floor. I have um, a box here with a heap of the, the old files out of my old four drawer filing cabinet. Um, so this box holds sort of about a bit over half of a drawer. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, go through this and sort because some of this stuff's been in this filing cabinet for years and never really been gone through. And the last couple of years, I haven't even used the filing cabinet as much because it's been tucked away down in the garage. Um, and I've been saving a lot more stuff digitally. Um, so I certainly haven't cleaned it out. Um, I have added some stuff to it because um, you still, while you can do most things digitally, there are still, still some things that you are either too consuming to, to scan and, and save digitally or things like passports, which I think they're in here somewhere. Um, there are some things that that you, you need the physical thing. So um, things like big fat contracts. <laughs> I'm not going to scan that. Um, so the yeah the idea is to go through this sort through the things I definitely want to have ready access to um, and they can go in the drawer the things that can be shredded and I'm just going to use <laughs> I've got a little, my daughter's got her little desk set up here already um, and then there are some things that we'll probably want to archive um, so I still want to keep them but I don't really need to get to them regularly, if at all. It's just one of those things that you you, ha you need to keep. So tax records that you have to keep for, I think it's only five years these days, but you've got to have them. You never go back to them, but you've got to have them just in case. Um, so that's, that's the process. Um, and I'm going to speed it up, so give you, give you, let you watch a bit, 
but you don't have to see the whole process. But basically, I just, I'm just i just going through and going, do I still need this? So this first one is probably a great example. This is all um, receipts, warranties, and manuals and stuff from all the, all the purchases. So some things I kept receipts for. Um, so an angle grinder. Um, I'm pretty sure that was actually a gift. Um, and it was only in the last 12 months. So I'm gonna, still gonna hang on to that um, in case something happens to that and we need to claim it under warranty. This is huh, a pair of thongs. I don't need that. So we can get rid of that. Um, and I just will go through, there might be manuals for things that I don't have anymore. Um, I own a manual for a hot water heater. <laughs> um, and these are one of the things that, so this is the user manual for our oven. Um, we still use the oven. I probably don't need the manual, but if something happens one day and we really need to get into the nitty gritty of how it works, that'll be handy to have. Um, that's a receipt for a puncture repair. So you get the idea. There are things that we still wanna have access to, things that we just don't need anymore, and things that I don't think any of these will probably get archived because they'll get to a point where we just won't need them anymore. But um, things like uh, mortgage contracts. I probably won't really look at that again, but I want to keep it. So I'll probably archive those. Um, so yeah, you get the idea. I'll speed it up a bit and show you the rest. Okay, so just from one plastic box, so just over half a drawer in my four, four drawer filing cabinet, I've got um, a nice big pile of stuff to shred or, or bin or recycle. Um, an almost full box of stuff to archive. What I'll do with those is, um, I think I'm out of archive boxes at the moment, but I'll find a nice sturdy archive box for that stuff to go in and I'll just do a quick list of what's in it. Um, so an index. Um, and I will um, I'll probably print that list and put it in the top of the box. But I'll also have, I use a, an app called Workflowy for my file index. So I'll also put, um, have an entry in Workflowy for that particular archive box and what's in it. So that I can always do a quick digital search to see where things are. Um, same goes for my, my actual filing cabinet. I've got, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but I use numbered file tabs. So in my actual online file index, it's just got all the numbers and I can quickly type in um, what's in each file. So now that I've pulled some of this stuff out and updated it, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is jump into Workflowy and update my file index. So it's up to date. And I've always have a printed, I've got a little file index 
file index file at the front and I'll have a printed list that I can easily pull out and have a quick look as well. But it's handy to have it digitally when I'm, uh, maybe I'm upstairs or out and my husband's saying, where is this file? I can quickly look it up on my phone, um, search, maybe it's car rego papers or something, um, or the BAS statement from last quarter. I can look it up in Workflowy and tell him exactly which number it's in. Um, speaking of my husband, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's him getting home right now. So I've got still got some work to do, but I'm going to fit my four drawer filing cabinet into two. Mm -hmm.